do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. All right, y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we had a bit of a crazy situation, right? This ex-hooker, well, I guess she's a regular hooker. Um, she was a hooker in this story. Um, she's telling, well, she basically, right, had a client, <laughs> a clientele. You know what hookers do, you know what I'm saying? She had a client that wanted something a little bit weird. Now, when I say a little bit weird, I mean a lot of bit freaking weird. He basically almost offed her. He basically almost unalived this woman. Um, I'm excited. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it seems exciting. It has like three million views on TikTok, so you know what that means. It's a fire video. If you also believe it's a fire video, smash the freaking like button. Let's just hop right into this, man. I know I ain't holding y'all too long. I want to watch this video just as much as y'all do. What is the worst situation that you survived? Serious, I am a retired escort. Not long after getting into the industry, I was contacted for a date with a gentleman from out of town. He became a regular, always scheduling an appointment whenever he flew in, and for most part he seemed pretty normal and square and vanilla. At first. After a couple of appointments things start getting weird, and I guess because I was just really young and naive and was just so concentrated on all the things I'd be able to do with all the money I made it took me a ridiculously stupid amount of time, and probably way more clues than maybe most would have needed before I realized that something was really wrong. The dates start with normal getting to know each other but after a couple appointments he suddenly tells me he has a preference that his women were quiet. Not just quiet, but really silent. Okay, whatever he wishes, I can be silent. Next appointment he tells me same thing, except in addition he tells me he also likes his women to be still. Complete <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Wait, the, the man want a doll? <laughs> this man wants a literal doll. Go to the corner store and get yourself a life-size freaking teddy bear, you weirdo. The man said, rule number one, be quiet. Don't speak a single word. Rule number two, don't even freaking move. If I see you blink, I swear on everything. I'm throwing this knife at your top. You know what I'm saying? Rule number three, I don't even like them alive. You know what I'm saying? That's probably rule number three, actually. Completely still. Okay, silent and still. Whatever gets his rocks off. No problem. The next couple appointments he asks to put me in restraints, to clothe and unclothe me, to do my hair and makeup, with the expectation that I be entirely silent and still while he's doing everything. He, ad- he, he likes dolls. I'm telling I just guessed this whole freaking video. I just get. I just called this whole video. He's a... He said, what's the word? They got a weird word for it when, when like, people's fetish is, like, dolls. An idiot. That's what it's called. Let's go, man. At first, it didn't seem like a big deal, and I was okay with it. But it just started to weird me out. So, I decided I wouldn't see him again. When he calls me for another appointment, I tell him, nah, last time things were kind of weird for my comfort. So, he says, what if I double the money? Bang, the you got thing? me there. <laughs> you freaking got me there. You used to give me a thousand, now you giving me two thousand? I could be a little doll. You want to do my freaking hair? Ah, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? I'll be super quiet. I'll be super still. You can put the handcuffs on as tight as you want. This is what she's saying. It's not what I'm saying. Don't worry about it. I would never do no weird, no, no freak stuff like that. Unless we're talking about millions of dollars, then I might have to think about it and consider something. Because for the, you know what I'm saying, the opportunity call, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I was already making astronomical amounts of money. So double, yeah, I could deal with whatever for double. No problem. The whole time that's how I was able to get through it was by detaching and just focusing on all the things I was going to do with the money. So I see him again, and he he asks if it would be okay for him to call me names and curse at me. I say sure whatever dude. After that date I decided I didn't really care for the things he said or how I was treated so no more dates with this guy. Until he calls again and asks if I'd see him for double the last rate. It goes on like this for many more days. Wait, double, now he doing quiet, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. We started at one, then we was at two, now you at four? Where do these weirdos be getting this amount of freaking money from? <laughs> Hold on now. I know she said yes. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's and I was so concentrated on the money, I was totally missing what exactly it was that really got him off. But when you're getting paid thousands of dollars for just a little bit of time, it was really easy for a very young and naive girl to miss serious clues. After a few more dates, he asked me to do something new. So he strips me naked and shoves me outside onto his hotel room balcony and locks the door. It was nighttime, so I wasn't terribly concerned about anyone seeing me, but it was the middle of February in the Pacific Northwest, so it was really friggin' cold. Wait, what? After not long, I start to get really cold and really annoyed that he's not letting me in. Then I just start to get really pissed. Eventually, I tell him if he doesn't let me in, I'm gonna start screaming for help. I couldn't take the cold any longer. So he finally lets me in, and that's when he wants to duck me. No way, dude, I'm out of here. F you. But then he offers to double the money. Again. <laughs> Golly, this know. man is freaking rich. He's quadru- He's He didn't quadruple it. He's, he's, what's four? What's eight? He, he octagon the, the, the money. He ate X the normal rate. Oh, 
Oh, man. I don't know. You have to say, she has to say yes. Cold or not. You finna be real, real world war. You finna be real warm. Cruising with your Birkin bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. You have to. You can't say no to that. This point is just ludicrous. I am such an airhead. Sheltered. Young. Naive. New. No, you about I the bag. You're not stupid. You're not stupid. You about that bag, and I feel you. I personally wouldn't do that, and I wouldn't advise anybody else to do that, but I understand. You know what I'm saying? I understand. <laughs> At some point he asked to bathe me, and then one night he asked me upon my arrival to please use the ice box and to get ice from the machine in the hall and to fill up the bathtub with a bunch of ice. I really expected he must have a large bottle of champagne that just wouldn't fit in the mini fridge. So whatever, okay. But then he asked me to fill it up with cold water and then to get in. What? I was like, what? I don't want to do that it's going to be ice cold. Yeah, nope. But then again he sweetens the money pot which at this point is already more like the pot of gold at the end of a rainbow, just so far beyond what I'd originally started at. So, sure. Okay. Whatever you want, dude. The moment it finally all came together for me, and literally not a moment sooner, was while I was lying naked and totally submerged in a bathtub full of ice water. I remember thinking to myself, seriously, what is it about this that gets him off, all of this, really what is it, then, ooh, now I know. He wants to duck a dead girl. Like effing duck. Dang. I literally called it. I literally called it. Didn't I, isn't that what I said in the beginning? Or did I say he want to clap a doll? No, I think I said he want to clap an unalived person. I think I called, I think I said it. I don't remember now. I'm pretty sure I said it, but, but that's freaking weird. That's disgusting. And it's really people out here like that that have these weird fetishes. And they rich. They, they, he's freaking got money. He's, he's eight times in the amount that he usually would spend for 30 minutes of freaking pleasure. Because he likes to clap dead girls. What? This is weird. Uh, stupid. I got out of the tub while he was distracted, quietly and very quickly grabbed my purse and clothes, and the money, and then ran for the door. I didn't even bother to put any of my clothes on and just booked it down the hall to the elevator completely naked and in sheer and utter fright. It's hard to imagine things being able to progress much further before finally actually ending up a dead girl. For all I know, he was grooming me to eventually become his dead girl, and, my stupid butt almost just blindly walked right into it. This actually happened to me, is not made up. Wait, so let's pause real quick, right? So we have to go over everything that's freaking happened. So in the beginning, she was regular. They was on regular dates, cool, calm, collective. Then it was, be quiet, don't talk. Okay, that's okay. You could, That's weird, but okay. The next thing was, be quiet, don't talk, and don't move. Now it's like, what? what what's, what's going on here? But then... He doubled the money, so it's like, I don't care what's going on here. I'm getting freaking paid. You know what I'm saying? The third thing, he wanted to, to tie her up. So be quiet, don't move, and now you're tied up. You can't move for real, even if you really wanted to move. This is some craziness happening. But the crazy money is hitting my bank account, so I do not care. You know what I'm saying? The fourth thing. He had her outside freezing to freaking death. You know when you're freezing, it's really hard to move. You'd be like all stiff and all that. You know what I'm saying? What was this? I don't know. But don't just forget I said that. But you all stiff and all that, right? It's super hard for you to move. And you super pale. You get all blue. Well, black people don't really get blue. But more whiter people get blue when they cold and all that. So you look, you look dead. You look super pale and you look dead. You know what I'm saying? So now he has the... He has the silence, dead people don't talk. He has the not moving, dead people don't move. He has the, the bondage. Someone that's murdered is more so bondage. I don't know where the bondage thing comes from. Just I don't know. But the fourth thing, he got her to look dead. So she's acting dead, she's standing dead, she's looking dead. And he paying millions of freaking dollars just to freaking clap a fake dead person. That's crazy. That is Luda freaking Chris. Man, y'all let me know in the comments down below. Did y'all call the end of it in, in the beginning? Did y'all know what type of fetish this man had? I feel like I called it in the beginning. I don't remember. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna have to watch this video back just to see if I called it. But I think I called it. Anyways, man, this is some craziness. All you people that's escorts out here and prostitutes, you know what I'm saying? Hookers, y'all need to stop. First of all, you first of all need to stop. You you, you don't need to be doing that. There's so many other things you can be doing to make money. If you don't know what you need to be doing to make money, hit my Juver Gems channel. I, I'm on there teaching people how to make money all the freaking time. Um, but there's so many things you could do to make money. Even do OnlyFans. 
I'm not saying to do OnlyFans, but it's safer than just being a prostitute. I'm over here preaching to prostitutes. Anyways, man. Yeah, that's about it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. If y'all enjoyed it, smash the freaking like button. If you enjoyed this video, I know you enjoy this video right here. This boyfriend and girlfriend, husband and wife, I think it's husband and wife, actually have three kids together. But there's a plot twist. They're brother and sister, like biological, like same dad, same mom, brother and sister. It's crazy. Just watch the freaking video. It's ridiculous. But that's about it. I'm going to see y'all out.